I'm Tom Maloney with Lakeshore Public Radio 89.1 FM. It's Tuesday, September 1st, 2020. Stay tuned for the latest on the GPTC's updates to his bus schedule, U.S. Census efforts in Indiana to reach undercounted neighborhoods, and President Trump has gotten himself into the trenches of Big Ten football. But first, the Gary Public Transportation Corporation, known as GPTC, is improving its bus schedule beginning one week from today. The changes will mean more service and fewer transfers for, for passengers. The Broadway Metro Express will have three additional stops, which include the Lake County Government Building, the Adam Benjamin Jr. VA Outpatient Clinic, and Purdue Research Park Ivy Tech Campus. General Manager Jerome Parker says the changes are coming after reviewing the data from its routes and input from riders. With the new schedule, it is now just one trip from Gary to Crown Point and from Crown Point to the South Shore Line. The Ivy Tech South Broadway shuttle will now longer will no longer be a separate route. The US 30 schedule, excuse me, shuttle will run hourly services on weekdays and Saturdays to provide more frequent trips where riders need it most. The Gary Common Council is getting ready to vote tonight whether to repeal a community benefits agreement which is an ordinance that triggers local hiring initiatives and neighborhood benefits when a major developer requests a tax break or another incentive. The potential repeal comes after the Common Council approved a property tax abatement worth an estimated $669,000 to the developer of the Broadway Lofts project in downtown Gary. The remains of the historic Memorial Auditorium are being torn down to make way for the development. Proponents say it's designed to improve minority and local hiring initiatives and compels developers to invest in affected neighborhoods. Mayor Jerome Prince says he wants a benefits agreement that balances a business-friendly attitude with one that provides benefits to Gary neighborhoods. The CBA was written and enacted during the Karen Freeman Wilson administration. A superior judge... Uh, excuse me, a Lake Superior judge refused to dismiss a lawsuit challenging a state law that permits the sale of school buildings to charter schools for $1. The school city of Hammond and Lake Ridge schools filed the lawsuit last year. Judge Stephen Scheel said the school districts had standing to move forward in the lawsuit. Hammond and Lake Ridge have closed four schools, but school officials say they're being used for other purposes. The state laws call for school districts to notify the state within 10 days of deciding to close a school. Charter schools then have 30 days to buy or lease a building. With just one month left to respond to the census, community groups are working to ensure everyone is counted. The U.S. Census Bureau will stop counting at the end of September, a month earlier than planned. That could threaten the accuracy of the census if many people go uncounted. Kelly Coors is executive director of the Evansville Department of Metropolitan Development. He says they're working with local census offices to target historically undercounted neighborhoods during these final weeks to ensure a complete count of the area. Since mid-July, the census has been conducting in-person follow-ups across the country. The Census Bureau is urging people to answer questions by phone or online at census.gov. In sports, the Chicago White Sox, fresh off their come-from-behind victory last night against the Twins, are going for the series win tonight in Minnesota at 7-10. The Sox have won 12 of their last 14, while the Twins have dropped six straight. Dallas Keuchel gets the start for the Sox. Michael Pineda will start for the Twins. At 22-13, and 13, the Sox are in first place in the AL Central. Minnesota is in third place at 20-16. and 16. The Cubs are in Pittsburgh tonight at 6.05 for the first of three games against the Pirates. Chicago comes into the game having dropped four of their last six, while the Pirates have lost four of their last five. John Lester gets the start for the Cubs, who are in first place at 20-14. and 14. Chad Cool will start for the Pirates, who are 10-22 and 22 and in last place in the NL Central. In college football, the Big Ten Conference already in court and under pressure from players and parents over its decision to cancel fall football is now hearing from President Donald Trump. Trump tweeted that he's spoken with Big Ten Commissioner Kevin Warren about reinstating the fall season. The Big Ten had no immediate comment. The league announced on August 11th it would move its football season to the spring semester because of health risks associated with the coronavirus pandemic. Trump has framed the debate over player and fan safety now as a political one. In the NBA, less than a week out after Kevin Pritchard fired Indiana Pacers coach and longtime friend Nate McMillan, 
He is now looking for a replacement. He says he wants to find someone who can communicate better with today's players. He also wants the new coach to implement a more up-to-date playing style. Above all, Pritchard wants someone who can win in the playoffs. In four seasons under McMillan, the Pacers went 3-16, and never reaching the second round. Looking at your Lakeshore weather forecast, tonight a 60% chance of showers and thunderstorms, otherwise mostly cloudy skies, a low near 65. Wednesday, a 10% chance of showers before 7 a.m., otherwise partly sunny with a high near 82. Wednesday night, partly cloudy skies, a low near 61. Thursday, mostly sunny, a high near 84. But expect high wind gusts as gusts could hit 30 miles an hour. Thursday night, partly cloudy skies, a low near 54. Friday, sunny, a high near 76. For Lakes Republic Radio, I'm Tom Maloney. This has been your midday news update. Thanks for watching and don't forget to share.